today we are loading up Firefly and hitting the road again. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. So we have a five hour drive to Moab. I got a drone. <laughs> Super pumped to be back on the road after a couple months of house time in Airbnbs and then my family home. So uh, getting super excited, energized, and, uh, and I'll show you a little bit about the things it takes to get ready to hit the road and then we'll be on our way, woo! I am giving her one final uh, charge up on the house so that while I get my fridge and freezer all started up and running again, then it's not using up a huge amount of my battery power. My little shadow is sterling today. He knows that something is up. A new chapter is coming again. So <laughs> he follows me around everywhere. Always a super fun surprise when you come back for a while and realize that the fridge that got turned off had something left in it. So, mmm, delightful. <laughs> That will definitely teach me to be a little more intentional about uh, taking everything out before I leave. Also wanted to show you a little van tip. If you put magnets on top of your refrigerator doors, then they'll stay open while you're loading and unloading them. Got the composting toilet all set up and ready to use. If you want to see like the full setup of how I do the composting toilet, check out my uh, Van Life Logistics video. So I won't make you sit through the whole process again this time. But got it nice and clean and fresh and ready to use. Nice and easy being at a house that has a hose hookup. Um, I use a filter on there and then just use from basically any hose hookup. I have a 20 gallon water tank in there, so should be good to go for a little while. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Alrighty, I am all loaded up and ready to go. Next stop, I'm going to pick up Anara. She's been staying with my dad because the house where I've been at has some people that live there sometimes that um, are allergic to cats. So I haven't been able to have her with me, so I'm super excited to pick up my little babe and start heading west. All right, my girl is home. <laughs> Look at her all curled up, my little sweetheart. All right, so we are hitting the road. We have a five hour drive to Moab. So a couple of updates while I'm driving here to share with you all about the show is um, one, I'm gonna go back to posting every week now that I'm on the road again and I'll have lots of fun content to share with you all. The YouTube algorithm does not like when you change up your posting schedule and so it'll probably bury me in your feed. So if you like the show, please make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the notify button so that I don't get lost in your feed. Uh, sharing it on social media sites like YouTube, or uh, sorry, like Facebook, or Reddit uh, will really help my standing within the algorithm. So I'll hopefully get back to a good place after kind of switching up my posting schedule a couple times. The other note that I wanted to give you guys is that I'm gonna be starting a Firefly and I Patreon account that is gonna be basically my travel journal. So that Patreon account will be linked below. Uh, it's super cheap access per month. You'll get some um, those travel journals with the GPS coordinates and also some exclusive content here and there, um, some little behind the scenes footage, that kind of thing. That's that and let's keep on trucking to Moab. i 
to camp van is level enough doesn't really have to be perfect which is nice that's one advantage of having an electric uh, fridge freezer instead of propane you don't have to like get everything super super level so um, looks pretty flat I'm gonna start cooking dinner and getting ready for the evening uh, before it gets too cold and dark out so we made it to right outside of Moab woo 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 very excited to be back at camp for the night, as are the kids. They're very happy. Harness on so mama can cook and not worry about her. Of course, before feeding myself, gotta feed the animals, which is a whole production because I have so much stuff for my animals. It's absurd. I need to like downsize animal things. <laughs> Nothing fancy for dinner tonight. I am starving and it's getting late and I have to do some work tonight. So I am making a trusty grilled cheese sandwich. My oh so fancy grilled cheese setup. Got a little bit of butter. Put a little tiny bit of mayo on the outside of some gluten-free rye bread. Have Sterling stare longingly at you. Pepper jack and cheddar. Fancy, fancy. Admittedly, not the healthiest dinner ever, but it's done. Quick to make, quick to clean. Now I can work a little bit. I'm designing some leadership programs right now that I need to get some work done on. So I don't have service at this campsite, which is great to get out, um, but I do have a somewhere global hotspot that I put up on the roof using my sunroof right there. Um, and this allows me to get a GPS signal, which then I can use on an app on my phone to text my, you know, in a support crew, people who just kind of look out for me. I also text them my coordinates before I go out where I think I'm gonna be camping but this works great if I change my mind, if I find a place that's a little bit better, and just to send them sort of exactly where I end up within that general area. Um, so really nifty little device. I highly recommend it for those of you who like to spend time boondocking out of service. Okay, now that I worked a little bit, I'm going to watch some Netflix on my iPad. I download stuff beforehand just to have something to watch on nights like tonight when I am just too tired to read or 
do anything other than zone out a little bit. So um, I'm gonna do that and then tuck in for the night. So I will see you all in the morning. peek outside and see what the morning looks like. The sun is nice and warm, so excited to get out and explore the morning. Morning dashboard kitty meal over there. People always ask why I don't have windows in the van, but really between the skylight and the uh, front cab windows there's a ton of natural light in here and it's all really easy to close up and insulate and um you know keep people from seeing it this is what you use when you don't have a hot water heater or a shower in your van for the washcloth bath works kind of well as a mirror. <laughs> Cheers. Now I'm going to go enjoy the sun outside for a little while. As you can see, I got a drone. <laughs> Super fun. I am not that good at it yet, but um, I think it'll be pretty exciting to uh, play around with and see what I can do with it. So um, hopefully you enjoy the uh, first timer drone footage. Let's go explore the Moab area a little bit more.
So when I was younger, I did a lot of raft trips with uh, my parents and my little sister. And on one of our raft trips, we came up with a haiku about canyon walls. Here it is. It's black stained walls of time, bacon in the hot sunshine. It's just a rock. <laughs> So we have always been really cool. <laughs> I was gonna go do a bunch of tours in town. Instead, I just went and got a little bite to eat um, in the little downtown area and decided that it is just too busy in town. I am just not in the mood. So I am going to go enjoy the sun and head out to my campsite for the night and um, just enjoy being out here for the rest of the day. Maybe do a little work. Um, yeah. And just getting to camp early tonight, I think, will be a, a good ticket for me. Washboard roads are not our favorite thing. Kind of sounds like an earthquake. <laughs> All the campsites I was planning on stopping in for the night are look like they're taking taken, and I don't necessarily see a. Uh, anymore. There's no camping past this point. So I'm gonna turn around and kind of scout out the area a little bit better. All right. I found a spot here. It's kind of close to other people for my personal liking. I'm kind of more of a like go as far away from other people as possible kind of a gal, but um, it seems it feels a little tucked in. So it's pretty epic here. So definitely worth a little bit of the crowds. So I just had somebody come up to me and be like, you travel with a cat in your van? Oh my God. And Ara is definitely a co good conversation starter for, you know, those of us more awkward types who don't normally just go up to people at campgrounds and talk to them. So, um, yeah, like I said, kind of a lot of people around, it's people playing bocce, very like social scene here, but I will probably go for a little walk and then, uh, kind of tuck in and get some work done. So I am going to hunker down and work for a couple hours. So nothing interesting happening here tonight. All right, good night from me and the kids. Just worked a bunch tonight, so not much to show you there. But tomorrow we have a fun day planned. We're gonna go to Capitol Reef National Park. Should be a great day, see you in the morning. Good morning. I am having a lazy morning. Cannot seem to wanna get out of bed. But the nice thing about being self-employed, don't need to. Oh, I have a visitor. <laughs> I'm going to get up and get going pretty soon here. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we will be on the road soon. Trying to get dressed in the morning out of my storage cubes is always kind of an interesting adventure with this little tweaker.
just driving along and uh, came across a place that really exemplifies that you just never know what you're gonna find along the road. snapper turtle jerky because I'm gluten free and there was wheat in it. However, if you're looking for some uh, some interesting new flavors way out in the desert, you could get some snapper turtle or alligator or uh, even kangaroo, a whole bunch more kinds of jerky in there. Um, so check out, uh, check out this random, weird, wonderful little spot in Utah. Alright, we made it to Capitol Reef. Uh, really, really beautiful so far. Um, hopefully find a place to step outside and go for a walk here soon. I can't bring the animals for a walk, which is one reason I don't spend a ton of time in national parks, just way more restrictions. Uh, one of my subscribers kind of asked about, you know, how I travel with pets and, you know, more dog friendly areas and um, definitely you want to be looking more into national forest and BLM than state parks and federal parks. I do have a national parks pass. It's really dirty, <laughs> but 80 bucks a year and this gets you into any national park. So far in Capitol Reef, I haven't actually seen a place to pay. Um, there hasn't been a pay station. I'm about eight miles from the visitor center. So we'll see if that changes. But, um, so far we made it here and going to just explore a little bit and then park on the other side of the park. All right. I'm going to hit it, hike a bit up Grand Wash. I'm just going to do part of it, come out and back, um, because the animals aren't allowed with me and it's a pretty cool day out relatively. I mean, it's warm, but it's really nice in here. I'll put on the fan, uh, leave them in here for a little bit, but I still don't want to go for a long while. And sometimes people think canyons are just red or you know a mix of red and brown and all that stuff but then you find these cool little pockets of white or orange or even purple and blue colors I love these canyon walls so much Sun. I love 
the sun, I love the beach. turn around now because um, the animals are in the car but you can see this is a pretty easy little hike it's just flat um, it's two miles up two miles down so about four miles total so maybe about an hour hour and a half for most people to hike it so if you're wanting to do a really beautiful hike that's not too hard in this area this is a really great option hey walking this way it is a entirely new perspective which brings me to my personal power and intentional living tip of the week so i've been thinking a lot about this this week because um you know i got a drone and it really kind of offers a whole different perspective on things and you know i talk to a lot of people and clients who would love to change their life who would love to live in whatever way that they want to and they say but i wish i could i wish i could do that i wish i could you know live out on the road or traveling or do whatever but i just can't and i think that this is where the shift in perspective is so valuable of well you know what is it about your life that you can't change and certainly there's some obstacles that can't happen but i would challenge and i would challenge um, everybody out there to think in the way that, yes, I can live an intentional life. I can live a life that I love. I may have to shift it. It may not look exactly like other people's, you know, lives that I watch on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, but you can live in any way that you want. And when you take that perspective, when you shift over into thinking in the I can versus the I can't or I wish mindset so many possibilities open up so many amazing situations can happen to you just from that one simple shift in perspective so that's my challenge to you this week is to start thinking in i can and i will verse i wish and i won't um so yeah that is your tip of the week and i'm gonna head back to the car now and see my little critters Just a quick trip through Capitol National Park. Never did get asked for an entrance fee, so that's a nice little perk here. Thank you to Deb uh, B. I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name because I'm going to get it wrong um, <laughs> for suggesting that I come down here. Um, if you have any suggestions of where to go next on my road trips, let me know. Um, next, I am going to be heading to Escalante and Zion for the next week's episode. And then um, I'm going to be heading to Southern California from there. So headed to camp now. Uh, probably going to stop in Torrey, which is just a small little town, and pick up a couple supplies. Well, I miss Torrey. I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a town, and I just was lost in my head and listening to bluegrass music and enjoying it and just missed it completely. So since I'm enjoying driving right now, you do being self-employed, right? I can just decide when I want to work and uh, I'm just going to keep driving, I think, all the way to like Boulder, Escalante area um, and just find a place to kind of post up um, for the night and most of tomorrow. So kind of excited about this little pivot here. So we'll see where I end up. Who knows? I'm just going to drive until I see somewhere that I like that has decent service and camping and feels right. Just got to go by the feel. 